My name's Lewis. I'm the National Operational Communication Program Lead for St John Ambulance. St John Ambulance is on the cusp of change. We have a radio communication system at the moment that is multi-model, multi-mode, and doesn't really help our people. With the help of Kenwood, we're moving towards a solution, something that enables our teams to get to the people and deliver effective communications as well as an effective clinical service. St John Ambulance is unique. We are the largest first aid charity in the country. We have a unique skill set in terms of our clinical skills range from young people with first aid qualifications right through to doctors and nurses and paramedics bringing professional skill sets into their service delivery. Communications is no different. We've got a unique range of people with backgrounds in everything from pre-hospital medicine right through to engineering and cutting edge system design. We're bringing those experts in, using new systems and delivering a communication strategy that's dynamic and changes to the needs of the organisation that enables our people to put their clinical skills and serve the community where it's needed most. St John Ambulance has been using radios for well over 20, 25 years in its operations and until this point there's not really been a centralised um, system as such. It's kind of grown as time has permitted and as the funding has allowed. Uh, we've multiple makes and models of manufacture of equipment in service even to this day. What we're doing is migrating towards a single solution and that's with Kenwood on board. We're moving towards a new system which will allow us to do trunked digital radio across the country, provide us, uh, communications officers with vital features and capabilities that they've never had before. When most people are designing a new radio system, um, so say if I was to take offer you the opportunity to completely design a fresh system for St John Ambulance, a lot of people would dive directly to um, DMR. They will tell you that DMR is the way forward. Beginning from the ground up with a new DMR based solution would require us writing off thousands of assets. It would mean we'd have to destroy our entire radio stock. You're talking 5,000 hand portables, 600 ambulances, an entire fleet of support vehicles and control centres. St John Ambulance is a charity and our focus is around that care and service to the community. NXDN allows us to use its mixed mode capability to grow the radio service and adapt our operations to reflect the capability at the time. So as we migrate away from our multi-manufacturer um, model and begin to hone towards the capabilities offered exclusively by the narrow band offerings of NXD, and we see an increase of anywhere up to 50% of our coverage sites. We see an increase in uh, message transfer. We see an increase in reliability. And more importantly, the message which is to get that care to our patients. NXDN is our selected protocol. That's what we're staying with. We're going to move forward and let's say Kenwood have come on board and we're now moving towards a Kenwood fleet across all of our equipment. One of the crucial bits of kit that has really been a game changer for us is the site roaming capability. That has enabled us to use our fringe coverage in locations and that's allowed our assets, our people, to move between those repeater zones without having to adjust their radio. Our teams on the ground, they care about patient care. They're looking to make sure that they are doing everything they can for their patients in the event. They don't need to then worry about which channel they're on, which frequency they're on, which talk group they're working through. What, all they need to know is that when I turn my radio on, I'm on this talk group and away I go, or I'm on this channel, to use our internal terminology, and that's what they're gonna work with. The radio then does the hard work. So the site roaming has really proved come into its own because it means people can move between coverage points. We as communications officers can bring sites up and down and turn functionality on and off. And the users don't have to do anything with their kit. To them, they just pick it up and they speak to control and they get what they need. And that's what's most important is to make sure that we deliver a service to our people so they can deliver service to others. We're now in the heart of um, our newest control vehicle. Um, these are a brand new concept of St John Ambulance. It's a demountable control vehicle, which you see move in via the prime mover. Uh, it gets deployed on site and the move unit is then taken off to do other tasks. 
The primary motive for making sure there's two repeaters on board is so that we are ready to move towards the next phase of the strategy later on, which is to move to digital trunked radio. When we go to digital trunked, we need a trunk controller and we'll be using type C trunking. That means there's a dedicated controller for every site. One of the uh, features we're very much excited for is that audit log. And so we can see how long radios are waiting. So when it comes to designing new sites or putting fixed infrastructure in place, we can use data to design our systems. And that's what really will set us apart. One of the biggest draws of the Kenwood equipment is its flexibility. And that's everything from being able to customize anything something as simple as the LED on the top of the radio. So the color identifies which talk group you're talking to and also right through to uh, things like delivering programming over the air. We, every so often we have to modify settings or change bits and pieces. And for us that requires a monumental effort because our equipment and our volunteers are spread across country. With the Kenwood over the air programming, that's a complete game changer for us because what we can then do is get the radios back into one location, have the radios turned on, and then we can batch program them. At the end of the day, we want our volunteers to return to the basics of radio, which is they turn it on, they know they're connected, and they push to talk and let go to listen. They shouldn't have to do any further work. The radio should do the clever bit for them.